Uh, my name is Patty, and I'm 26 years old. Uh, and I'm Mark, and I'm 27. How long have you two been living together? I think like like three years? Three years. Actually, I think three and a half, since June. Right, what she said. I don't remember anything. How has it been? <laughs> <laughs> it's been, uh, it's honestly, it's been incredible. It's really important who you live with. It really makes a difference, and I'm so lucky to have been able to live with the love of my life. Mm. We're talking today about living together versus living alone, and we want to know about the pros and cons between them both. Okay, that seems simple enough. Uh, so, what do you want to know? So, I mean, I've always cooked for myself when I was living by myself. When we began living together, it wasn't that much of a deal to cook for someone else. Um, you know what? I've been blessed to be able to live together when it comes to food because I, I could barely cook for myself. I would make a lot of food for him and I would pack his lunches. She prepares my food when I go out to work and my lunches. I can't complain about a single thing in my life. It has exponentially gotten better since I moved in with Patty. Well, if, I mean, if there's something, it's not much, you know, it's a, it's a small thing, but if there's there one thing that maybe might be a little bit of a negative, you know, since I moved in with her, um, I've, I've found that I, I don't have as much, um, you know, as much freedom to uh, release. Like, I, have, I have to hold it in a lot, I just have to, I have to yeah, but otherwise than that, it's great, you know, like I'll, I'll, you know, I sometimes I could cook one thing. It's my famous like steaks and, and mashed potatoes. He cooks this one meal, which is just mashed potatoes and steak. She really loves it, and I cook it on any special occasion. It's it's a killer. It was just super American, super dry, and pretty plain. It always gets stuck in my teeth. So besides the gas thing, you know, everything's gravy. I prefer cooking actually. I had this big queen size bed that I would just be able to sprawl out on. Now that we live together. He's always like cuddling with me a little bit too tightly and I feel like I can't breathe. Patty has become like my second pillow, my human pillow. I'll just, I'll latch onto her from behind, you know, and I'll make sure she doesn't move. I do that so that I can aim my, uh, my rear <laughs> um, away from her. Because, you know, the gas thing. I think we have pretty common TV show interests. Everything that she wants to watch, I want to watch, happen to coincide. I guess the only annoying thing is that when we DVR the shows, I always have to pause it because he always has to get up and go to the kitchen or make a call. And we always watch it together. So there's just no, no room for me to... <laughs> I do enjoy living together because it's really nice to have someone to be there when you come home at night. Yeah, I like living together with him. Uh, do, do you guys have like a, like a bathroom? I just need like five minute stops. If I can just... So I think your boyfriend has irritable bowel syndrome? Uh, what is that? Don't, don't film any of this. And turn off the audio. Uh, can we get some Febreze? For... It's just... You've used all the Febreze already? I, I just mean, bought it like two days ago. I don't know, it's because we keep cooking eggs and stuff. 